Okay, here we are, getting ready to start stitching from Simply Applique. Very excited about this. I have made a pattern correction to part five. I changed the placement and tacked down to minus 1.5. Make them identical. That way, if your pattern piece fits over the stitching, you're going to hit it with your tack down. So, let's get started. I am using I am using Exquisite from all brands. This is a light tear away. It is a 20 inch by 10 yard roll. Thank you all brands. And that is wide enough to go and do a single hooping on the 10 and 5 eighths by 16 inch hoop for the Luminaire. Okay, so here's the hoop. Under here I have the Designs and Machine Embroidery Hoop Mat. It just holds everything very still. I've also sprayed this already with 505 adhesive. And I want to take a look at the dog's body here. Um, he has got about a quarter, I know he has a quarter inch seam allowance to the piece beneath him in the quilt. So I need to put the bottom Ah, uh, let's see. I need to put his toes right about there to make sure we have enough room. Okay. So that's kind of where he needs to go. I like to have a printout of everything. And then. Okay. So I just creased the fabric. And let me make sure that's pretty straight. The center of the dog is about right here. And the center black line, I can see it is right here. So I think, let me move this fabric up just a little bit higher. Not quite that much so that I've got enough room for music notes up here and my dog looks like he's fairly centered that looks good All right so I'm going to float this I'm going to use my little thimble and pull the pins and I am going to pin this all the way around to make sure that the fabric doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to float this entire project, you guys. I also, I went ahead last night and I was working on my test and in the last section, the last video I did, I showed where I separated it into section two and three. I'm actually going to have to do another one and do section uh, four because I could not get that head to stitch in the same hooping with the scarf. I just couldn't do it. I tried and tried. You know, the paper printout looks like it works, but not with the scan so that you can make it fit right. It just wasn't, it just wasn't going to do it. Frustrating. That's okay. Not a big deal. So, and I'll show you in another video how when we get to that point, I will show you how to scan it and then make it all work so that your design that you just scanned, that, you, that you're getting ready to stitch, works on the scan. Well, let's go stitch. I had to move things around in my sewing room because this hoop requires so much space to move around. And the table that my embroidery machine normally sits on uh, is mounted to the wall. All right, let's see. This looks good. All right, here we go. Um, let me go delete. Okay. And internal memory is the pocket. I'm going to go to the wireless symbol. And I am looking for section one. I'm going to scan again.
Okay, can you see this? I'm going to get you in close here. This looks pretty good. He looks like he's ready to go. So I'm going to hit close. Embroidery. I like it. Um, he looks like he could be just a little bit lower because here's the edge of the fabric where the pins are. Let me see if I can move him down. Let, I'm going to go to layout, move. That looks pretty good. Okay. I like it. Let's see if he illuminates. Oh, look. Can you see that? Let me show you guys. Can you see it? You can see where the placement line is going to be. And the green line is the final stitch, but I'm not doing that one. Pretty neat. Isn't that cool? When we get to the smaller pieces, I definitely jump in and use the glue stick, even though there's heat and bond on it. But for the big piece, I am going to go ahead and use the uh, heat and bond. And I need to turn my iron on here. I didn't have my iron on. Okay, we have this set to 1.5 millimeters in on each on here and you want it to be fairly even okay um, it looks like you cover it you can just feel the stitching just underneath the fabric and I think that that will work you have to be a little bit more careful with this because when you know when you have the domestic sewing machine it's easy to adjust to stitch exactly where it's at but on this, you know, the embroidery machine is going to do what the embroidery machine is going to do. So you really want to try evenly away from the edge all the way around. Right, time for a front leg. There's our placement stitch. I know it's hard to see because it's black, but trust me. That looks pretty good. 
cannot see the stitching on either side of the leg or at the top or at the bottom so I know it's under there somewhere now if you look at this I'll show you guys let me if you get a little bit of like the the stitching went off here just a little bit I don't know why in this project it's not that big of a deal because that's going to be covered okay so whenever something goes a little wonky you know don't freak out about it kind of think about well okay what's that really going to be looking like in the end and if it's not something that you can live with then take it out and fix it Perfect. Okay, that's the final stitch. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to jump ahead one and go to the next front leg. so used to just grabbing it quick from my quattro this one has to think about it a minute Jump ahead. Time for the first back leg. That didn't sound right, did it? I got a big old knot under there. What from? Hmm. If you guys want to see what's under here, they've got this real cool little button. You just pop it. Look at that. And it looks like I have a piece of thread down in there that doesn't belong. Y'all, just that little bit can really cause problems. It's amazing. 
There was a bunch of junk in there. So I use an old makeup brush that's never had makeup on it. It's, it's really old. That's what I mean. But okay. That will cause you problems. All right. There we go. Look how easy that was. No need for the screwdriver. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's try this again. When you get that, when that happens, trim off the, uh, the knots on the back. You don't need any extra threads or anything causing problems. Um, any extra loose threads. You know, and when you ha when you hear something like that, you'll get to where you can listen to your machine. When you hear something like that, you need to stop immediately, figure out what it is. Because if you say, oh, it'll be all right, nine times out of ten, it won't. So embroidery machines are kind of they're fussy like that. I'm going to back up about ten stitches and go from there. So let's give this another try. I think this is foot back foot number one it sure is good okay you hear that beeping my husband's got the bread machine going again he loves playing with that bread machine Oh, that's beautiful. This thing, and it's making me crazy. turned out pretty good. <laughs> I did not have to sew that down with domestic machine. I love it. Okay, I am going to jump on this and go into section two and keep going.